No, don't tell me. Let me guess. We are a bride in search of a wedding. Burt Reynolds, the charismatic star of such films as Deliverance, The Longest Yard, and Smoking the Bandit, who set out to have as much fun as possible on and off the screen and wildly succeeded, has died. He was 82. Reynolds died Thursday morning at Jupiter Medical Center in Florida. His manager confirmed the news to The Hollywood Reporter. The actor first rose to fame when he joined the TV series Gunsmoke for its eighth season in 1962. Well, that makes sense. You two are kind. Half-breed, isn't that? Cheap <laughs> Reynolds went on to be the number one box office attraction for a five-year stretch starting in the late 1970s. He was Hollywood's top grossing star every year from 1978 through 1982. In 1978, he had four movies playing in theaters at the same time. First explorer saw this country. Saw it just like us. Always with a wink, Reynolds shined in many action films, often doing his own stunts. And in such romantic comedies as Starting Over, opposite Candace Bergen in 1979, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas with Dolly Parton in 1982, Best Friends with Goldie Hawn also in 1982, and The Man Who Loved Women with Julie Andrews in 1983. The actor received an Oscar nomination and won a Golden Globe for his role in 1997's Boogie Nights. It is my idea to make a film that the story just sucks them in. Reynolds also received awards recognition for his starring role in the CBS sitcom Evening Shade, winning an Emmy for his work on the show in 1991. Despite the ups and downs of a Hollywood life, the iconic actor seems to have no regrets. He wrote in the final paragraph of his memoir, published in 2015, I always wanted to experience everything and go down swinging. Well, so far, so good. I know I'm old, but I feel young. And there's one thing that they can never take away. Nobody had more fun than I did. For more on Burt Reynolds' life and career that spanned over six decades, head to TH.com. Until next time, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.